so we're here at the Lenaro Connect. And uh, so who are you? My name is Agustin Benito and I'm the director of Core Development, uh, which is a group of four teams that basically works in the kernel and in the security space, OPTE. And who are you? I'm Kun Khoi, I'm the release manager, so when they have products, uh, once a month we try to release them. So you, you try to ask him some questions. Go ahead. <laughs> so you were saying you were really passionate about what you are currently doing, so can you tell a bit more about, about what is the most fun thing the core group is doing right now? Okay, so we have quite a few, we have quite a few topics that we are currently working. Probably uh, the most popular one is EAS, Energy Award Scheduling. We are working with ARM in, in, in the last stage of the, what we can consider the, the R&D process and we are starting what uh, ARM uh, is uh, uh, talking like uh, as a product. Huh? So it's prototyped basically technology that they are and we are doing. Our part of the puzzle basically is change this, the kernel scheduler to uh, make it, mm, summarizing it to make it more intelligent so you can put on top of it uh, energy models that uh, can uh, provide better uh, power consumption rates. Uh, is big little required for that or will also work on only little or only systems with the big CPU in there? We are working at the kernel level and the kernel, uh, working at the kernel level means that we should be uh, architecture agnostic or platform agnostic. So the changes that Linaro is basically working on obviously works for any architecture uh, and it should be that way. The point is that in this particular area ARM uh, uh, provide some very very interesting features that based on ARM's product can potentially provide uh, and we think everything that we are doing tell us that will provide significant uh, improvements to the current situation and provide uh, an advantage, a competitive advantage. So there are two different goals, right? change the schedule for everybody in the kernel so everybody can take advantage and on the other side uh, enable uh, to the ARM ecosystem to take ad, uh, advantage again uh, of, of this superiority that has shown in, 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 in some of the segments and, and bring it to other new segments, right? Right. All right, so uh, could, could you talk a little bit about your background? Where do you come from? Okay, I, I'm... I, Basically, I come from the Canary Islands, and uh, I've been working in free software at the management or entrepreneurship level since 2003. And I've done several things first in Spain, and uh, probably most of the people in Linaro knows me because of my KDE involvement or because my work as a, in OpenSUSE as a basically product owner. So you you, you said that. Uh there, there was something that people should, uh, before we were talking about something, and you were saying you, you'd rather not talk about it? Why? What no, is no, it? no, no, it's, uh, it's, I should talk about it. I've been talking about it quite uh, a lot internally. And um, in, in op OpenSUSE as a distribution was pioneering in, 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 in uh, integration and pre-integration uh, testing among other areas, right? I was heavily involved. In, in this job that it's, uh, it's right now uh, publicly available in the form of a tool that, uh, that has shown heavy improvements uh, in the, at the distribution level, that it's also a multi-distribution, I and mean, it's, it's not uh, constrained to one distribution. And uh, I think that it's, it's one of those tools that can make a difference, not just for Linaro, but for anybody that does integration builds uh, integration uh, that end up in builds that uh, needs to be widely used, so pre-integration testing and post-integration testing. So the last few months, I would say, a couple of months, I've been uh, showing, trying to show, uh, especially now that there are publicly available examples that, that, that uh, can really be tested and confronted. And I think this is the kind of tool that if we bring it to Linaro, it will m make a difference in some of the complex use cases we are doing. Of course, uh, part of all our integration and pre-integration testing deals directly with hardware. This tool 
uh, this tool is more defined, it's, it works in an um, um, emulated environment with QEMU. But uh, yeah, I was heavily involved in, 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 in the development of the tool and I would like to bring that experience at my level, not a technical level, to, and the guys that are behind the tool uh, are very knowledgeable and, and I think they, they will be very interested in expanding the tool to our use case and especially to the ARM ecosystem, which is, which it would be completely new, right? Having uh, to, testing tools uh, with a, in a visual environment, I think it's something we don't have, right? And in some use cases will be completely killer especially to explain people where things, why things, or where things go wrong, so they can determine why, what, why are going wrong. So we work with Canonical, uh, with uh, Ubuntu, right? We work with Debian, mm -hmm. we work with Fedora. We do builds uh, uh, for technologies that, uh, and the service space, that all these areas can get a lot of benefit from these kind of tools. We have, and then integrate that into our own process, Lava is, uh, is our star there, right? right? I think that that process in the design state that I went in, in OpenSUSE, I would like to, to experience that also here. So it's open source, uh, it's, 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 so I, I think it's a kind of tool that, that we can take advantage of. There are other examples uh, of things that we can incorporate from other distributions uh, that are also very good. I mean, Fedora has... Uh, some services that are very interesting for us. Uh, Open build service is another interesting tool for us. So, um, uh, yeah, it's uh, we are we are doing a lot at the hardware level, but in emulated emulated environments, uh, we can do a lot more.